Hello everyone, welcome back to Dark Souls 2. Okay, so I'm pretty sure where I want to spend my skill points. On leveling up anyway, but before that, let's do a couple things. Alright, so I've bought some stuff from... Malin the Armorer, or however you pronounce his name. So, I've certainly helped him along, and it does seem to have made a difference. Like, when you buy stuff from NPCs, it does seem to actually kind of change some things. At least changes what they say. And I've kind of neglected buying from, well, at least from you. So I'm just going to buy some stuff, even though I don't need anything. I've got so many souls. I'm just going to buy some stuff. You? So anything even vaguely useful. Okay, so it's going to be one of these. Eh, I don't use any of this, really. <laughs> a life gem? I don't know. I'll buy a human effigy. We call this place Machu. Not too spe- It's just the place- Thank you kindly. <laughs> no problem, don't choke on your own spit. You've been long away. Well... Let's buy something from her. Strengthen nearby foes? No. Titanite shard? Sure. Let's buy, I don't know, free? Sure. Should make her happy. Visit me again, whenever you please. Do it. Hmm, what can I buy from you? Certainly don't want a weapon. Don't care about arrows. I mean, I've already upgraded many times at his place, so... Maybe I don't need to do this, but... Grab some of these, sure. I'll be around if you make it back. I certainly don't need to buy anything from the cat. I already bought the ring, which cost... Over 10,000, I think? Or maybe it was 10,000? 13,000? I'm not sure. Also, let's take a look at who's in here. I haven't been in here for a long time. I should go visit any... People I haven't talked to in a long time. Is there anyone actually living here? Anymore? I remember it was abandoned when I first came here. Is it still abandoned? I'm also wondering where that bird woman went. Perhaps she's up here? Hello? Nope, she has not taken up roost in the mansion. At least not the top of the mansion. She could be in the basement, I suppose, but I kind of doubt it. Who the hell are you? Oh, hello again. You've made it. The map, I presume. Oh, it's you! Map dude. Of course. Take a good look. Hmm? Ah, yes. There is something I wanted to tell you. I was born in the land of Mira. Mira is also the home of an infamous killer, a knight in name alone. He was locked in the dungeon for multiple murders, but shortly before his execution, he managed to escape. And the other day, I saw a fellow with a striking likeness, and then... And then... Wait... Well, I think he looked rather similar. No, no it's true. I saw just such a man, I swear. I believe his name was... C C uh, Cray something. I believe. They shared some resemblance, I, I think. Even more flames have appeared. I don't know what causes it. Do you mean the flames on the ground? Did you see the flame on the map? It wasn't there when I came here before. Hmm. I don't know what explains it. 
But there is something greatly comforting about that flame. It seems to fulfill something very precious, deep within the soul. Something essential. I wonder if the flames indicate my progress towards something. I would not venture far into that hole. It was blocked by a wall, something built long ago. But it was crumbling, and I finished the job. Now a foul sound echoes within. Did you see the flame on the map? It wasn't... I don't... Hmm. Well, there's two of them. Toasty. I'm assuming this is the map, isn't it? It kind of looks like a map. Hard to tell. Yeah, I mean, it's gotta be. What if the skeleton respawned? Doesn't seem so. I'm paranoid about secret places. Secrets? Secrets? Use everything. He warned me about going into the hole. He said he finished the job, but what hole is he talking about? Alright, well, let's go level up. So, I think I'm going to upgrade my adaptability a lot. So, I looked it up. Adaptability increases... Uh, it makes it so you can take Estus Flasks and other kind of health healing items quicker. Which obviously is a big problem for me, being too slow with that, as you saw in the last big boss fight. It also apparently makes it so that you can... I think raise your shield faster, which is irrelevant for me, but it also makes it so that... Uh, I think it says there's more invulnerability frames for your dodges, for your rolls. Whatever that means exactly. The end effect, I believe, of that is that it makes it so... Well, you're harder to hit when you're dodging. So, yeah. Let's do that. Let's become a lot more adaptable. Gives me a little bit of health. Oh yes, it also increases my poise. Which is already extremely high, my god. About 71. Oh, I'm just short of doing two more levels. I almost want to just keep increasing adaptability. Hmm. Maybe a bit more vitality. Okay, let's level up one more time. I'm not sure why I only used three. I had five. Is that enough? Probably not. This should be enough. Nope, I'm about a hundred short. Bits. More adaptability? Or endurance? 
I hate to put one point in that just to get one point of stamina. It doesn't seem worth it. I'm gonna get one more adaptability. We'll see if I can feel a difference with six more adaptability than I had before. Look, let's try to drink right now. Let's see if it's noticeably faster to drink Estus. Oh, that definitely seemed faster, didn't it? That does seem faster. I also wonder if it shortens the transition between attacking and being able to dodge, like attacking and how fast you can dodge. I wonder if it changes that, like this. Where is that bird person? You know, maybe she's in the place I can't go to yet, behind the door. That requires the ring. Maybe that's where she is. Hmm. Alright, well, how about we finish? Or, well, I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm going to finish, but let's continue. Here. Yeah, let's keep going. Am I human? I am human. I don't suppose anything's changed with you. Try torch. I ought to fly. also like to put down a helping sign for anyone who wants help with this boss. Feels good to do that right after I just defeated it. Because that's when the tactics of how to fight that boss is freshest in my mind. Makes the most sense. Plus it's kind of fun to re-kill something. Something that's such a pain in my ass. There's a doorway up there. How? How? I don't think I can jump that. I'm gonna try, of course. No, no way. Hmm. Well, I guess this probably just leads up there, doesn't it? Fine work, but enemy ahead. Of course. Homeward bone. Three of them. It's actually quite nice. I wasn't low on them, but I was using them up. And I hadn't been getting any more for a while. I think I was down to like ten or nine. Be wary of trap, and then bonfire ahead. I hear chains. Ah, you're behind. Yep. <laughs> what the hell? Did you just blow yourself up? You okay? Being summoned to another world is a phantom. Here we go. Okay. I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna be slow, which means I'm probably gonna die. Because I don't have a shield. Good luck dodging! Hi, Ivan. Star, star, E. Hi! 
and Bob of Mira. It's so cool to see the different character builds, different armor, and different weapons and whatnot. Hey, it's a fellow no shielder. Oh, never mind, you've got a shield too. Okay, well, we've got three of us and three of them. How much health does this thing have? I can't see. What the f Wait, did... Did the owner die? What the hell? The owner isn't very experienced with this boss, are they? They just tried to hit it and then just, like, died. Yeah... I don't even know what happened. They were all ganging up on it, I assumed we could have just killed it. I mean, three against one, given how low health they have, I figured we could have just beat it up, but... I guess they died too soon, um... Can I use it again, or is it on cooldown? Yeah, it's on cooldown. Okay. Well, that was... anticlimactic. Keep moving, fleeing. What if it was one of those jumpy, explodey dudes? Okay, I can go up, or I can go down. Let's get a look at this guy. I want to see what he is. Didn't really get a chance. Let me see if going to a bonfire has reset the timer on this thing. It has. I really want to help somebody with this fight. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I can't get back up, can I? No. No, I can't. Never mind. <laughs> Unless I want to put down a summon sign inside. I don't think anybody's going to want to stop for a summon sign during a boss fight. I sure certainly wouldn't. Oh well. Another day. Another time. Get out of my way, you stupid chair. Did I just blow up the chair, but it didn't even disappear? It's still there. Whoa, phantom chair. Looks safe. Oh, it's one of those creepy faces. Oh, hi. Please don't blow up in my face, please don't blow up in my face, please don't be a monster, please don't blow up in my face, please don't be a monster. My prayers have come true! summon sign. Whoa. Why can't I go back? Uh... Is this a boss? Invaded by Grey Spirit? I can't even... I can't even go. I'm on a little bridge. Uh... Misfortune ahead? Fuck. I've been invaded, but where are they gonna come from? I can't even... If I go ahead, I think I'm just gonna fight like a boss or something. Have, have I actually been invaded? Invaded by Grace Spear. Caw, 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 caw. What the fuck? Was I invaded by a bird? Oh, come on. I 
I've been invaded by two spirits. Well, that was wonderful. That is the best place to be invaded. Is on a catwalk in an area you've never been to. <laughs> you have a fucking whip. <laughs> uh, can, can I... Can I respawn? Hello? Okay. Even politely close the door. That is like the worst possible place to be invaded. And now I'm the dead. Oh, I don't have my ring on. Yeah, let me put my... ring that prevents me from taking as much out of my maximum health. Where are you? What do you look like? There we go. Not that I really need that ring, to be honest. I've got so many human effigies, and I can always buy more. Okay. Let's try that again, shall we? Oh, I forgot about you. Was it gonna close behind me again? No? What the? Strange. Why, hello there. Oh my god. <laughs> everybody in this game is just insane. Well, almost everybody. There's some relatively sane people. He is not one of them. You wish to guard the bell, you do. For the prince, for the princess, for ever. Abandon your covenant and join the Bellkeeper Covenant. N no. <laughs> Invaded by Grey Spirit Peter. Okay. Okay, I've got more important things to do. Oh, it becomes blocked behind you when you're invaded, so you can't leave the area. I'm actually trying to launch. Oh, come on. I'm invaded by another Grey Spirit? Bellkeepers are serious people. I feel like I'm being invaded by the bellkeepers. What the fuck is that? No, please, focus on somebody else.
These are all bell keepers, aren't they? They hate me because I'm a different covenant. Congratulations, dick. Two against one, come on. Yeah, I mean, so far the online PvP just seems to be laggy as shit. That wasn't hor as horribly laggy as the last one, but ugh. It definitely does not feel the same as battling against an NPC. See if I can go two feet without being invaded. I might be able to get up there if I time it just right. Maybe. Hmm. No. Take you seriously. You're like a three foot high warrior. <laughs> okay, this is a pretty good spot to fight. Yeah, I should have ran up here. Alright, right. hello? Take a surprising amount of damage. They're also very oddly colored. Be wary of tongue butthole. Um, okay, I'll watch out for that. Hidden path ahead. Hmm. Hmm? Try revenge and then lift. I don't even know what that means. I wonder if they do like a million points of damage or something. I've never actually been hit by them. Enemy and then treasure ahead. Ooh, what's this? All right, here we go. To do this. I, I think they're loading in, so I'm gonna be polite and not attack them. Oh, shit, that was fast. Oh, come on! <laughs> Can I even do anything? Okay, I'm sorry, but that is a load of shit. Like, I even heard the hitting sound, and I did what? Like, two points of damage? There's something weird here. Like, something weird's going on. It's like their hits are connecting extremely easily, but mine aren't. So yeah, anyone who's uh, played Dark Souls out there, Dark Souls 2, and has tried PvP, how do you feel about the PvP? Does it feel responsive? Does it feel good to you? Because so far to me, it feels like shit. Like, it's just laggy and weird, and it doesn't behave at all the same as the NPCs. Which, of course, react instantly. Because there's no latency. Did you really just launch at the wall? Not a bright one, that dog. 
And why do I keep getting invaded by two at a time? Not cool. What if you jump from the stairs? Nah, it's not gonna work. You know what, let me try my shield break on this little dude. Are you serious? I can't even successfully do it. I did do it once though, and it didn't seem to do anything. I've never, ever successfully performed a shield break. Okay, they do a moderate amount of damage. get up here before somebody invades me. Oh. Mermaid Man. Okay. Sounds wonderful. Fuck you, Mermaid Man. I can't deal with your shit. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at how lackey this is. I'm getting hit when I'm not even near him. No, no, no! The thing is, I have to assume it's just as bad for the other player as it is for me, right? They really don't want me fucking with their bell. Now I just want to destroy it. I'm gonna mess up your bell. Bell guards. Bell ends. Yeah, I mean, in a game that's all about timing. In a game that's all about timing, having laggy multiplayer, where you get hit when you're not even near them, or you obviously hit them visually, but you don't actually hit them in real in reality, is just... it's practically unplayable. It ruins everything that... you learned before. Like, that's just not how the game works. And why do I keep getting invaded by two people at a time? It's very bizarre.
Alright, see if I can clear this battle arena out before somebody invades me, inevitably. Quickly, pull it. Whatever it does. Yeah, I'm in your tower, ringing your bell. Come and get me. What, what, what are you gonna do? Okay, I probably open that thing down below. I can pull it again. Nah, I'm good. I'll just preemptively take my Estus. Alright, let's see what this is. Oh my. Hey, this seems familiar. This seems very, very, very familiar. I wonder if I can cut off their tails. Okay, I see how this works. Kind of. Let's see if I can cut off their tails. I think I actually might get this my first try. Ooh. 
Ah. First try. I'm pretty proud of myself for that. Belfry Gargoyle Soul. I'm assuming this is one of the optional bosses, maybe? It feels like it is an optional boss, because I only got to this by using the... Um... The... Ferris's Lockstone. Yeah. Certainly wasn't extremely hard. There's a lot of them. But they do very, very little damage in their attacks. What if this is a low-level boss? I don't know. Or maybe just because it's kind of an optional or a mini-boss, you could almost say maybe they're normally easier. <laughs> These ones are missing heads. At least I didn't have to fight them all. But yeah, I remember a fight just like this in the first Dark Souls. I think you only had to fight two of them. But it was on a rooftop just like this, and I remember there was a bell. Is this the same place, or is it just kind of like a callback to it? Don't know. I don't think anybody's going to invade me here. Ooh, there's a bonnie over there. <laughs> what does this say? How did somebody get up there? Can you jump? Oh, come on, i got to read that. You know, I... In jumping over there, I might actually jump over the edge. Huh, huh. Try horse butthole. That's worthy of, no, of an upvote. I did it! Congratulations. Let's take a look at the view before I continue. Ah... Ew, those mountains in the distance actually look terrible. Yeah, that's not such a good view. The water looks good, though. A lot of blood stains here. Southern Ritual Band. Southern Ritual Band. That sounds like the name of a, a music, you know, a music band. We're the Southern Rituals. Oh yeah. Whatever do you do? Well, apparently, I already had one. Hmm. Raises the number of spells you may attune. Hmm. I feel like that bonfire is a trap. But these blood stains, realistically, are probably from people just jumping off the edge. Bonfire, bonfire ahead. Thank you, I didn't notice. I think they're waiting for their food. <laughs> There's a lot of dogs. Is that the only thing that's down there? Yeah, that's it. Bunch of dogs and a couple items. Looks like that's it. What the hell was that? I think he might be AI. I feel like this is AI. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was AI. Probably just because it has two names, I think that means it's AI. Plus, it was actually responsive. Fine work. Bastille Key. 
What would that go to? The only locked door I can think of is the one that opens up between the bonfire place and the main place, but that, like, isn't even a shortcut. It saves you, like, one second from going around the corner, so... Hmm. Visions of boss. Whatever do you mean? Try something. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Illusory wall. Oh, shit. I just skipped that. Enchanted... Was it a weapon? This is not an illusory wall. Five hundred and sixteen votes. Can I downvote this? Dick. Yep, nothing down here but the key. So let's go try that key there, at the spot where it seems completely pointless to use it. Please tell me the key isn't to this, because I will be severely disappointed. Okay. How does that help anything? I, I don't understand. Is he suddenly going to make me stuff because I opened his front door? I don't get it. That seems like the most pointless key in the history of the universe. I ought to fit flame. Let's just see if that actually changes anything. I ought to fit nope. Oddball. So he left the message on top of his anvil. It's rude. Don't write on other people's anvils. I almost want to go back there just to finally defeat one of those assholes. I've never defeated a real player. Or have I? I don't think I have. Have I? Pretty sure I haven't. I still can't go this way, can I? Let's get back to where I was before. Wait, isn't there a bonfire in here? So I could have just traveled there? Pretty sure there is, but too late for that now. Yeah. Anyway, this time let's try going up. Secret. Illusory walls. I thought you were trying to grab me. If 
I wonder how many people rolled off the edge trying to roll through this stuff. I almost did. Then I realized, I don't think there's an, a wall to stop me. Uh, did those explode? No. Eh? 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 Human effigy. I'll take it. I see the shadow of the person waiting for me. That goes. Check in a second. Backstep? Nope. Practice our dodging. Liar required ahead. I don't even vaguely know what that means. Illusion ahead, try jumping off. This seems like good advice! <laughs> Dark Soul community is just full of trolls. I love it. Right, well I'm not getting back up there, so first let's go up. something. That sounds like an explodey dude. Ooh, these barrels actually move. They also magically raise up when you touch them. It's like a dream come true. Oh, I've always wanted to roll through a million barrels. Whoops. Good place for illusory walls. I'm looking. God. <laughs> That's funny. That is really darkly humorous. Try detour and then ladder. Yay, here we go. Things are about to heat up. These things explode unless you kill them. Running away is usually not a good idea. Let's get one at a time. Come on. That didn't quite work. Thankfully, though, they do a lot less, da less damage to me than they did before. Just hear clinking everywhere. Oh, 
Oh, they're inside of them. Hi. Yeah, those things are like pottery prisons. It's bizarre. Well, that's gonna explode. Or not. Not exactly sure what triggers the explosives versus just destroys them like that. Illusion ahead and then try left. For once, they weren't trolling. I'm going to upvote that. It's funny. This one that actually says something useful actually tells me there is an illusion, and there actually is. Only has three upvotes, but the troll ones have like 500. different ways to go. Interesting. I see somebody's been walking along the wall. There's messages. Where am I? Bracing knuckle ring. Hmm. Okay, I'm overlooking the beginning of the level. Ah, I see. Jump from there to there, and then... and then where? Where do you go after that? Uh... Bracing Knuckle Ring. Slows equipment degradation. That sounds amazing! Worn by Roy the Explorer? <laughs> it seems like Roy the Explorer wore all the rings. Expensive, flashy gear will not always make life easier for you. Sometimes you just need your tried and true equipment to last the long haul. That could be quite nice in certain situations. At the moment, I really don't need it, though. Alright. Boom! Let's see what I've gotten myself into over here. Flame butterfly and a torch? Eh. It's alright. Treasure ahead, confidence. Okay, I've got confidence. What I don't have confidence in is my dexterity or fine control with the stick on a controller. Shield ahead. I believe. Golden Wing Shield, they weren't lying. Fine work. Let's see if I can jump back. Hmm. I don't think that's going to work. Let's see what this message is. Or not. Never mind. I was just kidding. I didn't really intend to read it. Yes, I did. I should probably level up, shouldn't I? That might be wise. I kind of forgot about my... Uh, my souls. But first, let's take a look at the shield. Which 
one was it? It was this, wasn't it? Looks quite nice. Spell parry slash strike. What is this spell parry? Does that mean it can also normal parry? Alright, so where's the basic protection? Is it this? Stability. No. Is it this? That's it. Physical reduction. Yeah, also nice reduction on magic. So let's put that on, and then let's compare it to something like this. It is, um... A bajillion times better in almost every way except physical reduction. So it looks like it's not mainly intended to protect against physical attacks, but more magic. Because it does say spell parry. Which I wonder if that means you can actually, like, shoot a spell back at them? I don't know. Yeah, physical damage, that stuff on the left doesn't really matter because I'm not going to be attacking with my shield. So this stuff is pretty much irrelevant. Alright, you know, that only puts me at 52%. Let's give it a bash. Actually, it looks like a damn sexy shield. Okay, where am I going? Oh, yes, level up. That would be wise. Wait. Bearer of the seeks less than. Hold on, I should see if you sell anything new now. Are you? Hmm. Nope. Same old crap. Lonely times. You're let down. You're let down. What's your name? You're let down, Merchant Hag Malentia. Lonely times. These are. What about you? You've been well, I've only one thing to provide, and we both know what that is. <laughs> no interest. Suit yourself. Actually, maybe I should try to talk to them. What? You know how they call this place? Well, in the old law, what was it? Since... Oi! Is she actually yelling at me for running away while she's talking? <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't know the NPCs did that. It seemed like they didn't care. I've already heard her say that. Oh, everyone's so stupid. No. Everyone's so You're my only cousin. She really still wants me to buy something. Please buy something. Maybe I, I, I guess I'll buy something more. Uh, more human effigies? Sure. Thank you. <laughs> that is a creepy ass laugh. There. I think I'm a little bit short of three levels up. Yes, I am. I need about 2,600 more. Twenty six hundred, how much does one give me? Eight hundred? Now what to do? Hmm. I don't feel like I need any more vitality, honestly. Of course, it's still gonna make me roll further, so... Don't really want to put any points into endurance. It gives me so little. But I probably should. I don't think I want to put any more into Vitality. Guess I'll go Endurance. Three points of stamina. 
That is just does not seem good at all. But it is something. One, two, three, four. Ooh, I can get four attacks in and dodge. Can I do that with double-handing? One, two, three. No, I can't. Only with single-handing. Oh, man. I want to go back there and explore. But I've already been playing for an hour. And I played for six hours yesterday, which means already... Yesterday and today I have seven episodes, which means I have a week's worth of episodes in only two days. I want to keep playing, but if I keep playing, this is going to be the only game I ever play until I'm finished. Which is not good. So I'm going to have to force myself to stop. So, I'm going to continue exploring this place and check out the shield, see if I can parry some spells, however that works. <laughs> Something tells me I'm going to get burned in the face. In the future. I sense some burning in my future. Hey, there's a fireball! Let's try to parry it! Oh, I missed. Explode. If that works how it sounds like it's going to work, though, that is actually bouncing a fireball or whatnot back at them, that sounds kind of amazing. Yep. By the way, does that count as a small shield? I don't think it does. No, just a normal shield. Okay. Alright, well, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.